Hello children, Mrs. Rikta Das, PGT Chemistry from Kendri Vidyalaya, Ameria, Pune. Now I am going to explain about unit 7 that is P block elements. It carries the maximum marks, 8 marks. Eight marks in which you generally get reasoning type of questions, chemical reactions, and structures. The structures have been already dealt in the previous class by Mr. M. P. Gupta. I am going to tell you about the reasoning type of questions. The chemical reactions, of course, you can note it down in one notebook and just try to memorize it. Either you get two or three reactions, but then you must know the completion of that uh, reaction and even the stoichiometry. I will just start with this. In the P block element, now look here, this is the P block element. In the P block element, group 13, group 14 has been already dealt in class 11th. In the 12th standard, you have got 15th, 16th, 17th and 18th group. I just start with the 15th group element. Now this is group 15. 16, 17, 18. In all this group, now what you are going to notice is, this is nitrogen family, oxygen family, halogens. I will start with helium here, neon onwards. It goes on. Now, under the group 15, the first part I am writing as electronic configuration. In general, this is NS2, NP, NP what? Now, for P block element, now for P block element, the general electronic configuration goes as NS2, NP, the P subshell can take 6 electrons. So, this is 1 dash 6. Group 13, 14, you have already studied in class 11. So, group 15, NS, uh, this one is NP1, NP2, this is NP3. So, here it goes as NP3, this part goes as NP4, this part goes as NP5, this part goes as NS2, NP6. I have, I have written here the general electronic configuration for group 15, 16, 17 and 18. Now, the reasoning type of question what general you get in that most of the answers are going to be based on three points. Now, what are the three points? You have also studied this in the class 11. Whenever you take any group, what we have seen that the first element in any group, like whether I go for boron here, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, the first element in any of the group, if I am taking nitrogen here for group 15, the first element in any of the group will have properties different than the heavier members. The heavier members are also called as congeners. Okay, I can even say that the first element in any group has got properties different from its congeners. Why? What is the reason for that? This we have also studied in class 11. Let me just brief it. The first one is small size. The next one high electronegativity. And the next is absence of vacuum d orbital. Absence of vacuum d orbital. I am just writing this three here. So that any reasoning type of question is coming, I will just try to say that one or the other reasons are based on these points. Now let me take some reasoning type of question like I am starting with the group 15. Nitrogen, nitrogen is a gas while phosphorus is a solid, yes, all of you know that. Now why nitrogen is a gas and phosphorus is a solid? I hope all of you know when you draw the Lewis dot structure, nitrogen we write it this way, the lone pairs of electrons. Phosphorus has got a tetrahedral structure, this way it forms a tetrahedron. This is an important question why nitrogen is a gas and phosphorus is a solid or the question can be why nitrogen exists as 
diatomic molecule whereas phosphorus exists as tetraatomic molecule. I hope you have studied in the lower class as 2 is nothing but the atomicity of nitrogen, 4 is nothing but the atomicity of phosphorus. The reason is based on the first point I am telling. These are all one mark question you must remember. In one mark question, the marks are distributed half plus half. Half for what? Half for what you should remember. I am telling in nitrogen, due to small size of nitrogen, it involves in p pi p pi multiple bonding. Here I am writing p pi p pi multiple bonding. Whenever multiple bonds are involved, this atoms p orbital is involved this atoms p orbital is involved and hence I am telling nitrogen has p pi p pi multiple bonding why due to small size small size half mark p pi p pi multiple bonding half mark why p4 is a solid p4 is a solid due to large size half mark cannot involve p pi p pi multiple bonding I hope it is clear I can have the same answer and, and a similar type of question even in case of group 16 Group 16 is nothing but oxygen's family, chalcogens, uh, the elements which forms O's. For example, oxygen, we have like this. If I draw the electron dot structure, it forms double bond. Whereas the next one, immediately when I come to sulfur, sulfur forms a puckered ring structure. or I can say oxygen forms O2, sulfur forms S8 molecule. The question is almost similar to the group 15, the first element, nitrogen exists as a gas. Similarly, under group 16, I can say oxygen exists as a gas, phosphorus exists as a solid, phosphorus exists as a solid, similarly sulfur exists as a solid, sulfur exists as a solid or I can say nitrogen is a diatomic molecule. Oxygen is a diatomic molecule. Similarly, phosphorus is a tetraatomic molecule. Sulfur is an octaatomic molecule. Once again, the answer remains the same. As I have told you, one more question, half plus half. What is the half? What is the half? I hope you have got it now. Small size of oxygen involves P pi P pi multiple bonding. And hence, both nitrogen as well as oxygen exist as a discrete molecule. The word discrete was mentioned in the NCD textbook of class 11. Discrete means independent molecule. I am drawing here a structure. The structure has been already dealt with Mr. M. P. Gupta in previous classes. Structure of ammonia, I am drawing it here. This is called as lone pair of electron. Do you remember what is the other name of lone pair of electron? Here the electrons which are involved in bonding, which electron? Valence electrons involved in bonding are called as bonded electrons. Valence electrons of an element not involved in bonding will be called as what? You have got vegetarian, non-vegetarian, bonded electron just like that, non-bonded electrons. So non-bonded electrons or lone pair of electrons are the same. In case you have got a question in the entrance examination under MCQ, you should be very, very careful. If the question is asked, how many lone pairs of electrons are there over nitrogen in ammonia, then you write 1. How many non-bonded electrons, then you go for 2. Must read the question carefully, lone pair, non-bonded electrons. Um, if you see the structure of ammonia, it is somewhat like this. The black ball, the black ball represents nitrogen and these white balls are the hydrogen. What about the lone pairs of electron? You can see the nitrogen is slightly away slightly at the upper side, it is at the apex on the top. The lone pair of electron is here. This red color part is nothing but the lone pair of, uh, the lone pair of electron. Because of these, all these bonds are pushed down. If this lone pair of electron would not have been there, the structure of ammonia would have been like this, trigonal planar, as you have studied in class 11th. The lone pair of electron is here, and so it has become trigonal pyramidal the structures have been already explained to you. Based on the structure, certain questions I am telling. Ammonia is a Lewis base. Why it is a Lewis base? Because it can donate the electron very easily. Next one, if I compare the basicity between ammonia and pH 3, what is pH 3 called? The hydride of phosphorus, I am just drawing it like this. 
this is called as phosphine it is a toxic gas it is a toxic gas I have drawn the structure this way but see the electron cloud both of them are Lewis base but this is a better Lewis base than this just see the structure of electron cloud I have drawn here the electron cloud is more here the electron cloud is less due to small size the electron cloud is more and hence ammonia can donate the electron with much more ease much more ease means easily in phosphine due to large size the electron cloud is less and hence this is less basic than ammonia I hope this part is clear another question I am telling NS3 is easily soluble see just now about the Lewis base once again the reason is coming based on small size another question I am telling ammonia 